Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. So today I'm going to do the open cup technique and I'm hoping to create some cells. But what I'm also going to look at is the overall perspective and the composition of the design. In my mind, I'm thinking I might stretch it completely out across the canvas, but I may change my mind and keep some negative space. That's something that I consider when doing my creations because sometimes allowing some negative space can really make the creation stand out. Other times, if I stretch it right across the canvas and down the sides, that can also take the eye across the piece and create the movement. So it's going to be a bit of an experiment. I'm going to see how I get on with the open cup and I'm just going to have a bit of fun and I hope you'll join me along the way. So let's see what we can create. Today I'm working on a 12 by 12 inch canvas. I've painted my sides because I'd like full coverage and I've done that at this stage because when I stretch the design out I don't know if I'm going to leave some of the black tone along the edges and only have the creation and the colour in the middle. So to save any kind of painting of the sides at a later date, I thought I'd paint them all now just to get that full coverage. So I'm just stretching out the, the black in the middle of the canvas and then I'll get my um, cookie cutter and I'm going to put that in the middle. And then what I'll do first is I'm just going to get rid of some of these bubbles because I've recently mixed my paints. So here's the cookie cutter. I'm going to put it straight into the middle and then I'm literally going to layer the colours within the cup. So I'm going to start with red. I'm hoping that's going to give quite a glow and a really nice tone. And then I will add... I think I'll add some of my white. I think I'm going to layer white throughout and hope that that combined with the other tones and the black creates some cells. Okay, not too much. I don't want too much white in the piece. So I'm now going to add some orange. Again, the intention is just to layer the cup up to the top and then slowly let the paint out onto the onto the canvas to create that design. Okay, a dash of silver. I can't have a piece with a little bit of gold. <laughs> so adding a little bit of gold in. And then I think I'll get some more white. And I'm just layering this up, layering it up to the top of the cup. Okay, so in my white, I have literally two drops of silicone oil. So that's, I'm hoping, what's going to create some of the cells. Okay, so I'm just adding some violet. I haven't used too much silicone oil. Um, I don't want a huge amount of cells, but I obviously want some that's going to create this piece. So, um a little bit more gold, a little bit more red. And then the plan is to slowly lift the cup up off the surface of the canvas and put it back down again. Lift it up and put it back down again. And that's going to ensure that the paint slowly is released from the cup. And then what I'll do is I'll just give it a little bit of time in between each lift just to see what um what's happening um, and what reaction hopefully the white is having with the other colors okay i think i'm nearly done i'm gonna add some more uh, orange i think i think i'm gonna go for the orange it's a very vibrant bright orange color so i want to obviously add some vibrancy to this um do i add a bit more white Probably not. I'm going to just flood the canvas a bit more. I'm just going to add a little bit more black on the base. Um, okay. Moment of truth. <laughs> so I'm going to just lift it, lift it gently and then back down again. Lift it up and down again. Okay, so what I'm looking for here is to see what reaction it's having 
if I can see any cell formation, if I can see any of the colour shining through. So I'm just going to lift up again and down, up and down. And that's slowly releasing those colours. OK, so, wow, you can see the kind of reaction that it's having. Um, just leaving it a minute before each kind of up and down because I want to slowly release that paint, let that paint spread out across that black base. And then I will release the rest of the paint, lift the cup up off the canvas. And what I'll probably do in the middle is um, I'll, I'll, I'll probably get the end of a paintbrush and just do some kind of freestyle uh, design in the middle. Actually, it's quite pretty already. Um, let me, in fact, let me take you in and I'll show you. You can see some of the cells and I, yeah, I think I'm going to just, I think I'm going to get a paintbrush and I'm going to just do a design in the middle because when I stretch out that design, I don't just want a block of orange in the middle. I want to just break that up a little bit, move some of the other colours and tones in. I'm just creating like a swirl design in the middle. So when I'm stretching it out, it's a lot more prettier uh, and a lot more pleasing to the eye rather than just a block of colour. Um, in fact, let me take you in now and I'll show you what I've done so you can see before I stretch this design out. OK, so this is what I can see. You probably can't see that from your angle, but I've done a swirly design in the middle. You can see some of the cell formations around the edge. So my thinking is I, I'm going to stretch this out, obviously, but I'm probably not going to stretch it out too much because I really like the pattern that I've managed to create. I'm just going to get rid of the air bubbles and I'm using the torch just to see if I can bring up any further cells from the from the paint I've got already on my canvas. OK, I really, really like some of the detail that I can see and something that I have to bear in mind when I'm kind of tilting and stretching out, I don't want to lose any of it. So. OK, this is the moment of truth. <laughs> I'm going to just slowly lift the canvas up and move the paint just around the surface. I will add some more paint on the canvas shortly um, to help that flow and to help that design stretch out across that canvas. But I don't want to put too much of the black base down yet because I don't want it to come back on itself and swallow up the design. So I'm just slowly moving it round in a circular motion. I really like how some of this is, uh, some of this is kind of moving and there's a real glow to the red. And I really hope that doesn't get lost as it dries. I'm pleased with the colours that I've used. I almost feel that when I'm looking at it, it's almost, I don't know, I almost feel like it's a head. And it's all of the feelings, thoughts and energy within the head. But what I'll do is what I would love is to hear from you. Once you've seen the final design, I'd love to hear from you just to hear what your interpretation is and what you think it looks like. Um, but from my position, it definitely looks like a head. But I'm going to just add some more um, base coat now in the in the white areas because I think what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to add the paint in the corners make sure that it's a, a consistent layer I don't want any kind of like puddles in those corners I'm going to stretch out a little bit more and I think guys I'm going to opt for a little bit of negative space because the design in the middle actually is so mesmerizing that I don't want to tip that over the edge. So I think I'm going to literally keep it as it is. I'm just going to use my stirrer and I'm going to literally just spread that black paint in all those gaps. I'd love to know what you think it looks like. I love that glow, that the glow of the orange and the red. 
Wow, I hope, I hope the black doesn't swallow that up when it dries. There is a chance that it might do. I'm not going to know that until it dries, but it's, it's actually really vibrant and I really love that glow. But I will take you in for a close, closer look at the view that I've got in a minute, just so I can get your opinion. I don't actually want to move this design too much more. Um, I think I've said in previous videos, if you've seen some of my other creations, I do like to stand back sometimes and just have a little look at the composition and the perspective of that piece. Um, yeah, I'm not going to move this too much more. I think... Definitely a, a good decision to leave the black around the edges um, and at the sides. I'm glad I haven't stretched the design over the sides because what I would like is for the person that's looking at the piece for their eye just to be on the on the centre of that creation um, to look at those kind of details. Yeah, I think I am almost done. I will take you in for a closer look at the wet version. And then I'm going to keep everything crossed <laughs> that it dries as vibrant as you see. Obviously, I do bear in mind some of the tones that I do use, they will dry a little bit darker and maybe a little bit duller. But I can always get that, um, that shiny, vibrant effect back when I do my varnish because I always use a gloss varnish um, over the top. But you know what? Let's take you in for, uh, for a closer look and I'll show you some of the detail. So who else can see a head? It's like a side profile of a, of a skull, I think, with all the energy and emotions and feelings kind of whirling around inside, kind of clashing into each other with different energies coming off the edges. Um, that's my interpretation. I'd love to hear what yours is. Look at that red glow. I love that area. That's probably my... Probably my favourite part of this is that side of it. But if you look at some of the detail, I just really, really, I'm really proud of this one. Um, I don't often use black bases now. I, I always tend to go for lighter colours, but I think this works really well. I'd really love to know what you think. So please, in the comments below, just, just let me know what you think. What do you see when you look at this piece? I'd be really interested to know what you think. Yeah, that is definitely my favourite part there. Just here, all that kind of that red glow against the black background and all the different tones that you can see. Okay. So, fingers crossed it's going to dry really well. And I'd love to know what you think. Thank you so much for being with me today. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope to see you again soon. Have a great week, everyone. Take care. Bye.